This is a demonstration how to create a needle object and use it for further design. We start with this uh, version of FreeCAD. And first I create two needles. So what do we have? Uh, what can we see here? Uh, I hide the second one. The first one is defined by a curve. I call it the rib. And the second one is the line where this rib is extruded and transformed. I call it the backbone. This is the same for the second. And the second one is a little bit smaller. You see it here. So, and now what we can do, uh, each needle has a lot of parameters. So I can say, for example, I want to create a mesh. So, and so a an mesh object is created and this mesh object can be configured. I can define the density of the lattice in one direction and into the other direction. Okay, the same for the other needle. It's the same. It's a larger one. And what we now can do, we can uh, make a boolean uh, difference from the big needle and the small one. So that's the result. Um, let's look into it. And when I hide, we only see here the part. Okay, I have to hide these lines too. And now we see there is a hole uh, which goes through the outer leaf and here is an open window and here too. And we can check the geometry. Works fine. Okay. So back to the needle. Next thing what we want to see is uh, how we can use the data for it. And we have the data from the B splines and for the needle this is the spreadsheet with generated data and now I have a command import curves for my object A uh, its name in the script is A and when I run it then we see here the data of the piece spline for the curve and here the data for the uh, backbone B spline 2 and the same we can do for the other one and we have the data here too okay what we will do next is uh, we want to change the values in the data sheet. So we take the larger one and the first thing what I have to do is I have to stop the influence of the external sources. I set this flag to true and that means that I now can change values here.
and the object changes. So I can refine my model, uh, which was started from two piece blinds here inside the spreadsheet. I can change these values and I also can change uh, the other values for the, the backbone. See how this influences the curve. So once more we are back to our initial uh, form of, of the needle and now we see what to the other parameters means. Um, I have already demonstrated the mesh. Oh, let's go here to the bigger one. This is the the mesh. So the next is uh, the visualization of the rib. In this case I see here all the modified profiles along the extrusion. And when I hide the needle, I can see only this forms. And when I hide the mesh, I have a clear image how the curves flow. I can change the number of the ribs. I have a default starting value of 10 and I can make it finer. This way. Okay. Uh, I also can show the backbone. So we see here the backbone with its control points. It's uh, the points of this uh, polygon are the poles of the piece spline of this one and we also can show the template for the rip is here. Once again the original curve was this and the green line shows us the poles of this closed piece plane. <laughs> 